I, I deal with pretty much uh, all the processes that come in and form part of the IT landscape. Landscape. So. Yes. So, so whether it is, um, you know, so whether it is higher education and processes dealing with higher education, whether it is processes dealing with uh, early childhood, whether it is processes dealing with uh, what we call over here as our registered uh, training organizations, you know, like, um, you know, we had that um, training organization, that computer organization in, um, in India. Uh, uh, it started with the N, I forget the name. So there are authorized training organizations that the government supports. Mm -hmm. So we build up processes for them and we build up, um, you know, the IT infrastructure and the IT applications for them. Okay. Yeah. So that, that is how we, sorry. Because of this pandemic, uh, we're in a turmoil situation. We're not accustomed to this such kind of situation, online <laughs> teaching learning. In India, exactly. mostly, exactly. and we are facing difficulties in capacity building as well as and actually conducting, designing the curriculum for online teaching learning. And the, it's a, a, a great challenge now for us. In this, you can guide us uh, very nicely. <laughs> as to, <laughs> uh, well, it, it's as, an interesting as, uh, topic. It, it's it's a very interesting and vast topic because you see what happened on March uh, or rather on the March of 23rd, the, the, the chief minister of Victoria effectively said, uh, starting the next day, nobody will come into work. All the yeah. students will be working or the students will do online schooling, right? Um, and colleges and everything will go online. Now, the problem over there that we, over here that we face is that not everybody has access to a laptop. Yeah. Not everybody has access to internet connections because we can think of Australia as a developed country, but there are certain pockets that don't have access to internet connections. <laughs> so how is it that you, um, you know, how is it that somebody can still continue learning, mm -hmm. right? Because over here, it is a government mandate that you have to study at least till class 10. You cannot drop out before that. Yeah. Um, now, this is where the government comes into the picture. So we had in a span of, um, I think, about a week. Uh, we Not a week. In three days, we had a list of how many laptops we had to provide and how many internet dongles we had to provide. So we then had to tie up with the telecom companies, like, for an example, Airtel or Geo or, you know, Vodafone and Idea back in India. So we had to tie up with them and the laptop companies like Dell or Acer and HP. And I think in, and it's not an immediate thing, you know, mm -hmm. because they have their production base in China, which is shut down. They have their production base in Manila, Philippines, which has been shut down. So it's not an immediate thing. And this is one state government asking for help. We have seven states in Australia. All state governments are asking for help. So we had uh, to ask for about, I think, 26 or 27,000 laptops and about uh, 11,000 dongles. Okay. It did not come in one day. Yeah. Honestly, it did not come in one day. And we are still sending out laptops and dongles, lesser numbers, because um, school has already started in a staggered manner from last week. Uh, we've catered for about 26 or 27,000 laptops. Yeah. So, we uh, do not worry about examinations, do not worry about anything. You, know, you are a straightforward pass. Just, just pass that year. Uh, we understand because situation nobody seen the pandemic before and it is an unprecedented uh, territory so you know we everybody accepts that um, the the ministry of education over here accepts it that it is unprecedented so they are allowing all the students to just go through you know if you can get online well and good teacher uh, teacher, okay, pass. what they are doing is they're taking photos of the uh, work that needs to be done and they're sending it to the students. Just a very beti, so 
उन लोगों ने दे टुक इनके स्कूल में दे टुक अबाउट वन वीक गूगल मीट पे उन्होंने सेटअप किया अपना गूगल क्लासरूम सेटअप किया एंड दे आर कंटिन्यूइंग ओवर देयर बट जिनके पास है नहीं एक्सेस द द स्कूल्स आर सेइंग नॉट अ प्रॉब्लम डू वॉट एवर इट इज अगर पॉसिबल है तो आप पढ़ें अगर पॉसिबल नहीं है तो आप ना पढ़ें नो प्रॉब्लम एट ऑल so even though you are supplying dongles but are you how do you ensure that there is a uh, enough bandwidth and connectivity available at all that is uh, that is as a tie up with the te- telecom company that yeah. is a tie up with the telecom company which again is funded by the department of education yeah. there so are there are because of some of the things that uh, that has happened over here is number one there is unlimited bandwidth so on all of those dongles that have been provided they've all been provided unlimited bandwidth okay. also what has been done in conjunction or in in collaboration with the telecom companies is that only certain um, websites are allowed access websites allowed for learning so everything mm-hmm. else if you want to go on to youtube and you want to watch a movie that will not happen yeah but if you want to let's say go to um, some educational website and you know the link has been provided to them then they will allow that so yeah. that is what is known as a, a upn from on a on a telecom domain it is known as upn right mm-hmm. so if you provide that upn then you can pretty much the telecom companies will allow only those subsets to yeah. go through otherwise everything else will be shut down you uh-huh. cannot access yeah, yeah. but that major- is a that that's a major problem i understand because uh, the advantage that we have in respect to you know the the sheer uh, volume of students compared to india you know mm-hmm. is that the the government over here is helping it through you know the, the government is getting into the deal and signing up with the telecom providers in india you're kind of left with uh, with the education providers to kind of fend for themselves जैसे आप कॉलेज में हो सो द कॉलेज इज डीलिंग अगर कॉलेज को ऑनलाइन करना है द कॉलेज इज डीलिंग विद डीलिंग विद द टेलीकॉम कंपनी या यहां पे गवर्नमेंट इज नॉट डूइंग आई डोंट थिंक आई डोंट थिंक एनीबॉडी फ्रॉम द गवर्नमेंट इज एक्चुअली कमिंग टू पीपीआईटी एंड सेइंग कि दिनकर सर हाउ कैन वी प्रोवाइड एजुकेशन टू द स्टूडेंट नो नो सो सो दैट विल दैट विल ऑलवेज रिमेन अ चैलेंज you know and obviously internet accessibility is a challenge so and yeah there is a big, big challenge in class strength is also another thing here in india we are facing oh, okay so sorry uh, yeah. uh, it's it's actually 3 o'clock and uh, yeah, yeah. We, are, we are actually we are like uh, we are on time sorry i'm, yeah, I'm going to excuse you and probably you can again have a chat at personal yeah, level sure. and uh, thank you rakti man thank you Uh, principal sir for uh, for actually having a discussion session for uh, for uh, for a brief uh, time and the okay. youtube link is already live like you know so the students are watching the session and many so, faculties have been uh, available in the zoom window here so okay. maybe we can start the session and uh, our actually uh, colleague uh, ms smita patil madam would uh, probably like you know mention about like you know what is the program of today and sure. what are the plans so yep. uh, i'll i'll pass the platform to her absolutely thank, thank you, you. Okay. Good afternoon, all of you. First of all, I welcome today's speaker, Mr. Ramakrishnan Baduri Sir, on behalf of Padma Bhushan Vasantrao Dada Patil Institute of Technology, Pune. I also welcome Principal Dr. Gayude Sir and all participants. Today is the second day of Student Development Program on Future Trends and Career Opportunity in Industry 4.0 in India and abroad. It is my great pleasure to introduce today's uh, speaker, Mr. Rakshin uh, Bahaduri Sir. Uh, Mr. Uh, Rakshin Sir graduated from PUPAT Budgao. PUPAT Budgao. Uh, currently, he is working in Australia uh, as a business management man- uh, engagement manager and uh, at the Department of Education and Training, Victoria. He has a uh, dedicated uh, practices. and technically skilled it business professional with over 16 years of uh, experience uh, and versatile it skill set developed to his uh, work as a business engagement manager itil process manager management uh, 
एंड क्वालिटी कंसर्ट सर्विस बेस्ड एनालिसिस एंड टेक्निकल सपोर्ट इंजीनियरिंग ही एज एन आई टी आई एल वी थ्री एक्सपर्ट सर्टिफाइड प्रोफेशनल विथ इंटरनेशनल एक्सपोजर एंड एक्सटेन्सिव एक्सपीरियंस इन कंसल्टन्सी डिजाइनिंग एंड इम्प्लिमेंटेशन ऑफ कोर आई टी एस एम प्रोसेसर सर एक्सपर्ट्स इन क्लाइंट रिलेशन एंड एंगेजमेंट आई टी आई एल इम्प्लिमेंटेशन प्रोसेस ऑटोमेशन क्रिटिकल इंसिडेंट मैनेजमेंट प्रोसेस ऑडिट वर्कफ्लो टूल इंटीग्रेशन डेटा मॉडलिंग यूजर एक्सेप्टेंस टेस्टिंग सर वॉज ऑनर्ड बाय आई टी डी स्टार अवॉर्ड टूडे सर टॉक ऑन हिज जर्नी बिफोर एंड आफ्टर पी वी पैटी होप दिस विल हेल्पफुल टू यू वंस अगेन सर आई वेलकम यू एंड आई रिक्वेस्ट यू टू प्लीज स्टार्ट यूर सेशन thank you very much uh, spita bottle ma'am uh, thank you very much um, thank you uh, gaurav sir for um, allowing me the opportunity um, like i said um, it is an honor it is a privilege um, to contribute back to the college that i passed out from um, you know the college has helped me immensely in um, building up to what i am today um now what i will do as as part of my um, you know as part of my uh, interaction today with you is i will ask if if we have students up over here i will ask the students who are currently doing instrumentation on what is it that or rather why is it that they have um taken up instrumentation as a course you know there is a there is a rationale behind why there is a reason why somebody would take up uh, instrumentation so i will ask this question later on but i request all the um, students to kind of start thinking about it on what is the reason that um, they have taken um, instrumentation engineering as a course of choice and what motivates them to come to class and understand the basics of control flow and the process and and all that stuff right so keep that in mind um and obviously there is also something known as a career aspiration where do you want to see yourself you can study instrumentation engineering you can study electronics you can study civil you can study um you can study various you know chemical whatever the college has to offer whatever the university has to offer um what is it that they want to see themselves further down the line right and number 3 what is their plan b so plan a is to study instrumentation engineering and be an instrumentation engineer but what is plan b just in case um like you would realize lots of people who uh, pass out from the various engineering colleges across india and even even within ppit not all of them get to continue on their preferred choice of engineering you know i am an instrumentation engineer i did not pursue or i could not pursue instrumentation engineering i went into it there are mechanical uh, engineers who have gone down it there are chemical engineers who have gone into process control and into instrumentation there are mechanical engineers who have gone into robotics electronics and uh, robotics so there's always a mix match so what is the plan b right so these are the three basic uh, questions that i will try and address um, when i come to that later but um, to start off um, and i think we've got a we've got quite an impressive guest list today over here um, <clears throat> to start off um, look um, like smita patel ma'am said i'm raktem bhaduri i am basically a um, a bengali by by ethnicity if you will <laughs> um i came to um i came to pvpit as for instrumentation go, going through one of those selection processes that you have in bombay based on your class 12 results and all right and for me um i had two options um i either had to choose uh, instrumentation in shivaji university or i had to choose civil engineering in pune university from a place known as uh, known as loni uh, most of you would have heard about loni it it, it was um, 
I I kind of think back then, 20, 20, 22 years ago, Loni was in the middle of nowhere. आप पूना से बस में बैठते चार घंटे लगते अब जाके बस आपको खेती खेतों के बीच में उतार देती <laughs> फिर वहां से आप पैदल चल के आप डेढ़ किलोमीटर अंदर आप कॉलेज में जाते एंड देन यू नो यू वुड दैट दैट वाज योर लाइफ योर लाइफ वाज ऑलवेज अराउंड द कॉलेज और अगर आपको कुछ करना है तो आपको पूना आना पड़ता है फोर आवर्स बट दैट वॉज ट्वेंटी टू ईयर्स अगो राइट सो आई कम टू दैट अगेन बट फॉर मी you know that that was a choice that i had to make so if i go back a, a bit in history again um my father is a civil engineer right he's 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 a pass out from um, iit kharagpur and obviously as they say engineer ka beta engineer banega so i was also <laughs> kind of kind of put down that line ki engineer ka beta engineer banega so okay fine um so we as in my family and i we um lived in dubai for quite a long time in fact i was born and brought up there uh, till about class 7 in class 7 the gulf war started and we came down to uh, calcutta so my father stayed back in dubai we came down to calcutta we we kind of enjoyed the session out over there um and did my uh, class 12 from calcutta and all that and my father said okay now you have passed your class 12 let's go on let's become an engineer and your results you'll be okay to get an engineer through the uh, you know then engineering uh, because he wanted me to be a civil engineer he was a civil engineer he wanted me to to be a civil engineer but my view was i would not want to be a civil engineer because i've seen my uh, father stand in this in the desert sun and helping construct a building i did not want that that is what we were having the discussion about a little while ago the new generation they want something instant right um so me being the next generation i said look uh, dad you stand out in the sun mereko nahi karna hai mereko dhoop mein khade reh ke building nahi banwani i want to join the oil rig i want to be, uh, you know go on the oil rig because to me that is a much more adventurous life when you are young you always think of adventure so you want to do an you do an adventurous life for me the oil rig had another adventure why you would fly out in the helicopter in the middle of the sea from land stay there for two weeks come back get a holiday for three weeks and again fly out for two weeks so for me it was more of are kaam to kar lenge do hafte chutti bhi chahiye mereko teen hafte more than anything else so what do i need to be working on the oil rig i need instrumentation engineering that is what motivated me to start into you know get into the line of instrumentation engineering there are other factors that contributed so that is how i got interested right obviously uh, you know we did that uh, we did the selection process from bombay i picked up uh, instead of so we went to loni did not like that place at all never at all instrumentation engineering was offered at uh, pvpit so i came and joined pvpit right now the thing that you know you, you you guys are all in in college at the moment but what you don't realize and i'm sure there are lots of you who are also you know not from miraj or sangli but who've traveled from other parts of maharashtra or also from other states right what you realize is that when your parents drop you at the hostel there is there is nobody over there to say hi or hello for you you are left alone and to me i think that is one of the growing moments at at 18 years of age when nobody is there usse pehle maa ke pallu ke niche badhe hue ladka ladki jo bhi ho and then you know you're left in this um you're left in this uh, situation where you don't know anybody you don't know any of the teachers you don't know any of the professors you don't know any of the um hostel inmates outside people it, it's all of it is very overwhelming what dar lagta hai for pehle do hafte bahut hi halat kharab hoti hai first two weeks uske baad aap adjust kar lete ho right and then we had uh, we had uh, you know professors then we start getting to college and you, and you know about your professors and you know about uh, you know how they how they work the system so we had you know like art motors sir uh, we had uh, the late um, outi sir um, we had uh, there was a professor in 
chemistry mukherjee sir i think uh, he was we had rd patel uh, uh, sir we had sn patel sir who was my neighbor when i moved out uh, from the hostel he was also the hostel rector so he'll probably also understand what i'm saying if he's there <laughs> um so it, it's it's a very interesting um, it's a very different and a very interesting world now one of the things that you also need to be um, kind of um, aware of is that while you are doing and and this is no disrespect to the professors the professors are trying their level best to make you sustain yourself when you go out in the outside world but let's be honest the outside world is very different right um so i did my uh, i did my uh, instrumentation engineering and all that stuff oh by the way if anybody has any questions please shoot it out please do not be silent mere ko lagega ki main akele hi baatein kar raha hu theek hai kyunki aadhe aadhe janon ne to apna photo band kar diya which is okay um dikh nahi raha sirf dinkar sir aur main hi hu jo apne video dikha rahe hain baaki i don't know so feel free to have any questions uh, jo bhi aapko puchna hai ab bejhijak rok ke mere ko puche there is no problem at all now um one of the things that i think most of you need to be aware of as students professors uh, you know the professors are trying their level best to make you aware of what is there in the world outside the world outside is obviously not as rosy jo hame bataya jata hai it is it is very different and it is um aaj ke date pe you know when when i passed out uh, the movement for automation was not that high un dino automation log sochte nahi the zyada there was automation but you only had it in big industries right jaise main uh, final year mein i went to this um, uh, i went to this paper processing uh, plant which was a uh, uh, which was in pune right for my internship uh, wahan ja ke that is the only piece of automation that we could uh, it, that was part of our internship as part of the final year project and we did it we then went to a a, a milk processing uh, factory in kolhapur right so that was the extent to which we saw or we could understand what how instrumentation connects and how automation is done and what are the different plcs what are the different scada controls which companies are there you know johnson honeywell siemens all of that but ab jab bahar jate ho when you when you pass out from college and you go to apply for a uh, for a job at any company wahan pe scene alag hai wahan pe you need to be able to have practical experience even if you are a, you know even if you are a fresher why i say this is because after i passed out uh, from after i passed out from college i effectively um, went to dubai you know, that was what i wanted to do my father was still there and i wanted to apply for um, an oil uh, an oil field job lekin the first thing you should all be aware of as students is that getting a job as a fresher is not easy unless and until and this is where i think you know the the organizations and this is where i also think the 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 placement cell in the in the college needs to have uh, a major interaction with the industry hamare time pe the interaction was very limited and i'll be, i'm this is no disrespect lekin hamare time pe utne industries the nahi jo automation kare us time pe abhi jaise hai today everybody wants to automate the industry theek hai people want to cut down on uh, on uh, you know manpower kyunki unko automate karna hai agar unko automate karna hai to aap kya karenge aap ek instrumentation engineer bithayenge aur teen jano ki naukri wahan se nikal jayegi because they'll have automated systems hamare time pe jab hum nikle the it was nothing like that we had a placement cell and you could hardly have four or five companies come in out of the four or five companies three or four were recruiting for it ठीक है, so that 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 was one of the things. So what I uh, what I want to tell you uh, as students is that uh, please go out of your way. Do not always think that the college will help you get a job. The college is helping you stand on your feet as it is. 
वो आपको इंसान बना रहे हैं वो आपको एक डिग्री दिला रहे हैं बाई मेकिंग यू यू नो गो थ्रू द मोशन बट इफ इट इज इन योर कैपेसिटी outside the college environment if you can go ahead and use your network and bring those you know those those companies into the college so that they can have a footprint the college can also have a footprint and highlight the capability of the students hamare time pe we relied on uh, kadam sir now he's he was a one man army कदम सर यूज टू हेड द एंटायर प्लेसमेंट डिवीजन ही वाज अ वन मैन आर्मी अब ये सोचो एक बंदा कहां तक क्या कर पाएगा वी एज आउटसाइड और ओएमएस स्टूडेंट्स डिड नॉट हैव द द नेटवर्क अगर आप कहो विद इन सांगली बिकॉज़ सांगली एंड मीरज इज एन इंडस्ट्रियल एरिया राइट मीरज में आप इंडस्ट्रीज देख लो भर के हैं सांगली में साकर कारखाना इटसेल्फ इज अ मेजर एम्प्लॉयर राइट right. और अब अभी जाके आई एम प्रेटी श्योर आप अगर आज के डेट पे विश्राम बाग से मीरज वाले रास्ते पे जाओ तो वो रास्ता भरा हुआ होगा इंडस्ट्रीज के उससे मीरज इनफैक्ट आई डोंट रिमेम्बर द नेम लेकिन um, अगर आप स्टेशन के वहां से निकलते uh, जो हम मेरे को अभी याद है बीस बाईस साल पहले का uh, अगर आप वहां से निकले वहां पर भरपूर इंडस्ट्रीज होती थी यू नो ऑन द वे टूवर्ड्स मीरज जहाँ पे वो मेंटल असाइलम टाइप का एक कुछ था उसके पीछे दे वो हिप्स ऑफ इंडस्ट्रीज we did not have the network because hum jante nahi the kis se milna hai kya karna hai agar aap yahan ke local ho agar aap meerut sangli even islamabad ya for that matter agar aap ichal karan ji ke ho ya even kolapur you know whatever it is my humble request please utilize your networks and get them into the college so that they can come and explore the capability that us as the students of pp pvpit have agar aap aaj ke date pe pvpit ke alumni ko dekho main aapko ungli pe gina sakta hu there are people jo ki aaj ke date pe tedx um tedx pe wo kar rahe hain they giving talks on tedx there are two vps of mastercard jo us mein hain there is um, um there is a director for cisco ठीक है नासा में देर आर थ्री एलुमनाइज ऑफ आर्स आप जर्मनी चले जाओ इनफैक्ट जर्मनी इनफैक्ट अगर आप मीरज जाओ आई डोंट नो इफ यू स्टिल हैव इट बल्ले बल्ले धाबा राइट मीरज में बल्ले बल्ले धाबा वहां उनके दो लड़के हैं द दो लड़के हैं एक है मनदीप सिंह खंगूरा एंड द अदर इज जसदीप सिंह खंगूरा Mandeep Singh Kangura is the director of one of the telecom companies or telecommunication companies of Israel. वो पुणे में है. उसका छोटा भाई is in Germany and he is in the research and development wing in uh, Bosch, which is the you know, um, Bosch Automotives. वो वहाँ पे है. Our alumni is spread across. अगर आप IT देखो, यहाँ पे Melbourne में I know of um, two people. एक है डायरेक्टर इन केप जेमिनी आई एम श्योर यू हर्ड इट्स एन आईटी कंपनी फिर एक है एक्सेंचर में अनदर वन इज सिक्योरिटी हेड एज एन आईटी सिक्योरिटी फिजिकल सिक्योरिटी नहीं नॉट सिक्योरिटी इन गार्डिंग आईटी सिक्योरिटी फिर कैलकाटा में देर आर लॉट्स ऑफ पीपल हु गॉन ऑन टू वेरी हाई पोजिशन एंड ऑल सो दलमनाई स्ट्रेंथ दैट वी हैव इज वेरी गुड एंड इज वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग राइट माई सजेशन बट लेट्स लेट्स ऑल्सो पुट इट दिस वे कि कदम सर जितना कर पाए थे कर पाए थे जिनको कर दिया था और जिनको कर पाए थे ही डिड हिज बेस्ट राइट वी डिड नॉट हैव द नेटवर्क वी कुड नॉट गेट पीपल इन माई हम्बल रिक्वेस्ट टू यू इज टू गेट पीपल इन यूटिलाइज योर नेटवर्क राइट दैट इज द ओनली वे वेन यू गो फॉरवर्ड एंड एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कंटिन्यू इन इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन दैट इज द ओनली वे other than your own personal networks that you can encourage yourself and your um, you know your friends to kind of go ahead and get into jobs that they want aaj ke date pe moving industries is very easy you can move industries you for tax say you can move an industry not a problem but if you're doing in instrumentation engineering there is a reason on why you're doing it so i'll come now i'm coming to that question so i want to hear from you you can call out your names and then you know just let me know 
what is the reason why did you choose instrumentation engineering because based on what your reason is you will be able to answer whether you will stick with instrumentation engineering as uh, you know as instrumentation as your lifelong career or you will switch so i'm asking you as students why do you want to you know why did you choose instrumentation engineering i'm waiting for answers whenever you're ready excuse me it's uh, kishore back again uh, mm -hmm. uh okay so moderators of today like uh, magdum sir and sudar sir can you actually go to the yahoo chat block box and uh, probably like you know scan the questions if there are any questions coming from the students um unfortunately as i mentioned because of the stormy situation in the western mm. coast uh, probably like you know many of the students are Not That's fine. Look, active. yeah, but we are having a session which is live, uh, being recorded. So the students are going to definitely, like you know, catch up with your sayings, and then probably they can get back to you at some other time. Not a problem. So, so, yeah, so we can take it like that as well. Uh, sir, are you listening to me, Sudar sir and uh, Magdum sir? Hello. Yes, sir. Hello. So, Yes. So, can you actually Hello? mention any questions coming from the student? Mm, yes. There is no question on the YouTube or chat. So, not a problem. Look, there, there is there is no urgency on that, but it is something that I would request the students to kind of reflect back. वो एक बार सोचे कि किस लिए उन्होंने इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन इंजीनियरिंग करी है और व्हाई डिड दे चूज इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन इंजीनियरिंग ठीक है बिकॉज आप इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन इंजीनियरिंग करोगे देर इज देर इज अ रीजन फॉर इट मेरा रीजन ये था आई वांटेड टू जॉइन द ऑयल फील्ड ठीक है मेरे को कमिंग बैक टू टू यू नो कमिंग बैक टू माय स्टोरी बैक अगेन अम once दैट हैपेंड एंड यू नो वंस आई पास्ड आउट एंड एवरीथिंग आई वेंट टू दुबई अनफॉर्चूनेटली दुबई uh, में दे डोंट एक्सेप्ट फ्रेशर्स आप जो भी मर्जी कर लो आप आप फ्रेशर के हिसाब से कुछ नहीं कर पाओगे आई अप्लाइड इन 139 डिफरेंट कंपनीज नॉट वन ऑफ देम सेड दैट वी विल एक्सेप्ट यू राइट सो दैट वाज दैट वाज अ रियलिटी ऑफ लाइफ सो व्हाट डिड आई डू आई केम बैक टू इंडिया एंड आई स्टार्टेड लुकिंग फॉर जॉब्स आई you know i had some friends who were there in honeywell though i had another friend who was there in siemens and i started going to them unfortunately what they offered was more of sales jobs ki aap company company ja ke aap system becho ab bhai main engineer hu main salesman nahi hu main wo naukri karunga nahi that was my thought process at that time right so then went a period of one year where i effectively did nothing other than searching for jobs main sirf naukri dhoondi in instrumentation just trying to make sure that i am an instrumentation engineer i'll carry on and, and become an instrumentation engineer and make it worth um you know my parents have spent money i will be an instrumentation engineer unfortunately aisa hua nahi so what i eventually ended up doing is us time pe aapke it ka daur bahut chala tha IT का दौर अभी भी है बट इट्स गॉन अ बिट डिफरेंट उस टाइम पे इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर वॉज अ मेजर कॉम्पोनेंट आई टी अगर आप देखें तो फ्रॉम टू थाउजेंड और लेट नाइनटीन नाइनटीज आई टी वॉज मोर इन टू सॉफ्टवेयर कोडिंग आप कोड लिखो भर भर के राइट एंड देन यू बिल्ड एन एप्लीकेशन जब मैं निकला वन आई पास आउट मेरे निकलने के बाद उस टाइम पे इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर वॉज मोर ऑफ अ more in demand ki aapko network banana hai aapko is office ke sath wo office connect karna hai aapko infrastructure security chahiye aapko network security chahiye aapko server chahiye aapko storage space chahiye aapko um, end user devices chahiye aise bahut si cheeze thi right now one thing that instrumentation taught me was feedback and i'm not sure if you've gone through it but there is something known as the deming cycle plan do check act right which is also known as the closed feedback loop in instrumentation 
आई कुड नेवर गिव दैट अप मेरे लिए वो चीज वॉज ऑलवेज इम्पॉर्टेंट कि आई नीड टू हैव अ क्लोज फीडबैक लूप इट हैड टू सर्कल बैक थ्रू अ क्लोज फीडबैक लूप सो आई गॉट इन टू दिस ब्रांच ऑफ आई टी नोन एज सर्विस मैनेजमेंट सर्विस मैनेजमेंट वॉट सर्विस मैनेजमेंट इफेक्टिवली डज इज दैट इट अलाउज फॉर समथिंग टू स्टार्ट फॉर एन एग्जाम्पल आई गिव यू एन एग्जाम्पल आप आज के डेट पे मान लो यूर विद एयरटेल एज अ टेलीकॉम प्रोवाइडर राइट आपके कुछ इशू आती है you have some issues on your telephone or your mobile or your internet or your data plan whatever aap airtel ke call center pe phone karte ho 121 ya 123 jo bhi hai you call them up and you tell them boss i have an issue mera mobile nahi chal raha ya mera data is not happening properly ya my billing is an issue they listen to you and they give you an incident number they give you a reference number correct आप उस रेफर एज अ कंज्यूमर आप उस रेफरेंस नंबर लेके खुश रहते हो कि हाँ आई हैव अ रेफरेंस नंबर टुमारो इफ आई नीड टू कॉल द कॉल सेंटर आई कैन मेंशन दैट रेफरेंस नंबर एंड समबडी विल टेल मी व्हाट इज हैपनिंग बट एट द बैक एंड देर इज एन एंटायर प्रोसेस दैट हैपेंस जैसे ही ये ये रिकॉर्ड बनता है ये ये नंबर जनरेट होता है सिस्टम में ये नंबर जनरेट होके इट गोज टू अ पर्टिकुलर टीम दैट इज एफिशियंट in handling your type of issues agar data hai to wo data team ke paas chala jayega agar aapke mobile mein tower nahi aa rahe hain to wo gsm team ke paas chala jayega agar aapke um storage space mein kami hai for some reason whatever it'll go to them agar aapke billing mein issue hai to wo uske paas chala jayega and this is all automated theek hai excuse me so this is all automated aur inke piche aapke SLAs बने हैं जिसको हम कहते हैं सर्विस लेवल अग्रीमेंट उस टीम के पास गया वो ही हैज दैट टीम मेंबर विल हैव लेट्स से थ्री आवर्स टू गेट बैक टू यू एंड टेल यू कि दिस इज द इशू अगर वो रिजोल्व नहीं कर पाया तो वो एस्केलेट कर देगा इट विल गो टू द नेक्स्ट लेवल उसके पास होगा दो घंटे वो नहीं कर पाया तो इट गेट रिजोल्व यू नो गेट एस्केलेटेड एंड ऐसे करके इट विल कीप गोइंग ऑन टिल there is a close feedback loop where they come back to you and say yes it is resolved either they resolve the issue for you or they give you a work around okay i think we boss we cannot do it for you lekin hum aapko iske badle ye de sakte hain hum aapko 40 rupaye ka recharge nahi de payenge because wo band ho chuka hai hum aapko 50 rupaye ka recharge denge ya aap 35 ka recharge le lo sath mein hum uh, 10 gb ka data aapko free de rahe hain that is a closed feedback loop आपने रेज किया इट वेंट थ्रू ऑल द प्रोसेस इट वेंट थ्रू ऑल द एस्केलेशन एंड इट केम बैक टू यू एंड इट गॉट क्लोज बीच में कहा फिल्टरिंग हुआ है वो हो गया इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन क्लोज फीडबैक लूप इज एग्जैक्टली द सेम थिंग आप यहां से शुरू करते हो यू गो थ्रू अ पाइपलाइन यू हैव अ थ्रोटल बॉडी अगर जरूरत पड़े तो आप उसको खोलते हो बंद करते हो वहां से या तो आउटपुट चला जाता है आउटपुट जाने से पहले देर इज अ फीडबैक इट कम्स ऑल द वे बैक एंड इट गोज बैक इन टू द इनपुट दैट इज that is how a instrumentation close feedback loop works that is exactly how service management works that is why when i went into it i picked up this line i could not get rid of that passion for instrumentation i could not work on uh, on the oil field but i still retain this instrumentation um concepts ki main wahi cheez इन दी आई टी रेलम इन दी आई टी इंडस्ट्री मैं वही कर रहा हूं सो टू मी दैट इज अटिस्फेक्शन दैट यू नो वट एवर आई हैन आई स्टिल होल्ड ऑन टू अटन एलिमेंट ऑफ इट आई एग्री आप लोग आप में से बहुत जने कहेंगे बॉस वॉट इज दिस दिस इज नॉट इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन यूर नॉट डीलिंग विद पी एल सी सिस्टम यूर नॉट डीलिंग विद स्का सिस्टम आई एग्री बट वॉट आई एम डीलिंग इज द बेसिक्स ऑफ पी एल सी एंड स्का आई एम डीलिंग विद फीडबैक i am dealing with control loops right so that is that is what i am um, you know and then from there that is where my career started so i was with wipro i did that i went on to be a process uh, uh, quality consultant and i went to pero systems jo aaj ke date pe mere khayal se ntt data ho gaya it used to be dell pero now it is ntt data from there i went to airtel 
where I designed this entire process for the Airtel Network Operation Center. So all the Airtel customers, whenever they whenever they call or whatever they do is all captured in a place known as the NOC, which is the Network Operation Center. You can see the entirety of Pan India operations from one place, right? And that place is in Manasar in Haryana. So I moved, you know, when I started my job in Wipro, I moved to Delhi. I went to Pero Systems that was in Noida. I went to Airtel that was in um, Gurgaon, right? So I did all of that. I built these processes. And from there, I then, from Airtel, I moved on to HCL. Um, in HCL, I built these processes for American clients. And while in HCL, I migrated across to Australia. When I came to Australia, I started doing the same thing for IBM. Then I went to the Department of Education as a contractor. I then moved to Infosys, where I was handling energy companies you know, building the same processes, but on a much more bigger scale, Pan Australia, like I was doing at Airtel. Uh, where Airtel was Pan India, this is Pan Australia. Um, and then I moved back to the Department of Education on another profile, which is currently the Business Engagement Manager, where I effectively sell IT to other departments, wanting them to buy into what I sell, right? So, that's the gist of where I have been throughout my life, you know, and in the, in the middle, of course, I, I, I met my wife, I, I have a 11 year old daughter. Um, that's all good. However, if you if you look at the background of everything, I have not given up instrumentation. And that's what I'm trying to portray in this entire picture. The gist might the context might be different, the industry might be different. But I've still held on to that. And that is what I want you guys to try and do too. If you are working with instrumentation engineering, then you will be able to do it. You can say this too. I don't know if this is true at the moment. In our time, Shivaji University was the only university that had instrumentation engineering. Uh, as, uh, sorry, PVPIT was the only college that had instrumentation engineering in Shivaji University. I'm not sure if that is still the case. Because even Walton did not have it. Uh, even Islamabad, that college did not have it. HL Karanji was, did not have it either. Nobody in Shivaji University other than PUPIT had it. Still it is correct. Still it, Still is. it is correct. Hare, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> so so you, you can effectively, as students, you can say, look, this is an instrumentation engineering course available only in PVPIT. If I manage to outscore my remaining 25, 30-odd students, I'll be an university topper. That is one way to look at it. But that, that way of looking at it doesn't take you any further though. So what I, what I would request you guys to do is effectively find out that reason, why, right? Make sure it is a very meaningful reason. You know, there has to be motivation for you to come to college, not because 75% attendance nahi hua to fir fail ho jayenge, ya ATKT ho jayega, ya DC ho jayenge, not that. There is a reason why you want to come to college. There is a reason for it. It's not that Papa or Mommy are giving money, so they're coming to take their bike. No. You've got to have some inner motivation. Find out what that inner motivation is. Right? Once you find out that inner motivation, my suggestion is to get onto websites. Google is easy. Google makes life very easy. Get onto those websites and try to match your course to your career aspirations. What is it do you want to do? You want to be an aeronautical engineer? Is there anything in instrumentation that ties there? Do you want to, you know, work in, in, in the paper industry? What is it that you can do? Do you want to go on to the army or the navy or the police? There are people from um, one or two batches junior to me. They did their electronics engineering from PVPIT. Today, they're uh, DCP in police. Somehow or the other, they've taken whatever the, the courses have taught and they're applying it in their daily life. Find out what your career aspirations are and try matching what you want to, you know, your career aspirations to what you are studying today. 
once you find there is it good go for it if you find that there is no match try looking at a career b or a plan b what is it that you want to do in case you don't happen to have your career of choice you know i did not have oil and uh, you know pet- petroleum working on oil and petroleum as my plan uh, as my plan b it was always plan a but when i found out that nobody gives you jobs as a fresher i had to rely back on a plan b and plan b was finding something in it because that was um the main field that was paying at that time finding something that i can take from instrumentation and build into plan b that's what i did that's what i'm doing even you know 16 17 years later on so these are my three things to you today you know um it's 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 very easy to go on and on and on um but my suggestion to you is number one as students please find out why you choose instrumentation engineering find match it to your career aspirations and it is high time you know bachpan mein hame jo hame mummy papa puchte rehte hain beta bade hoke kya banoge hum to doctor banenge hum to lawyer banenge that time is gone you know that was that was all khel khel mein beta kya banoge beta kya kab banoge now you guys are across you guys are you know you're the rising generation you will take india where it's supposed to go to and i'm not being political i am not trying to do any speeches over here from a political side but you will help you know india go ahead somebody will ask me how are you helping india go ahead boss i send money to my parents and i'm being honest to you i send i send foreign currency to my parents which also goes goes in the indian currency bucket right so that is one aspect of contribution however yo sorry can i interrupt you ar bolna actually thode student log ke question aa rahe hai to kuch student usko padhna chahta hai so can we sure. can we like do you, do you want to continue for little uh, little while to actually close your topic and then maybe we can get back to the question session or do you let's do, do this ha bol yes bol 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 do we do we interrupt you at this moment and then just jump to the question session so it's, let's it's go our, for the questions it's your all your call let's yeah. do it this way i have my i just had three points yes. why did you choose instrumentation what are your career aspirations and what are your plan b right what is your plan b yes. so if you, you have these three things bedded up trust me there's no issues going further on in life and like yes. i said feel free to bring on your questions now yes so pushpadan magdum sir yes. are you there <laughs> Yes yes sir. Uh, yes. yes. So so can you read the question and the, uh, can you actually announce the name of the student as well and the, uh, like you know probably we can look at the questions like you know like what actually Raktim is mentioning like why have you chosen to be an instrumentation engineer so maybe something like that question if it is there in the chat box can you actually read the, read it and you know read it with the name of the student look i'm i'm okay with any questions even if it is not in those three categories if there's anything else that anybody wants to okay. ask i'll try and address it as best okay. as i can thank you yes, sir okay. there are four or five questions from the students go for it okay so one question is so what is the role of instrumentation in agriculture sector in future so it, it, this question is asked by mahesh irai from ty instrumentation okay okay so in agriculture what is the role of instrumentation yeah yeah in agriculture Let's, and this has come uh, from mahesh in the third year okay sure ir ha yeah mm-hmm. uh, all right do, do you want me to answer now or do you want should, should to give me all, all the questions? questions yeah should we record all the questions okay so okay. Uh, ushpadan can you actually okay. mention the next question yes right the second question is so uh, uh, As one student is asking about to which basic courses needed to do in this pandemic situation so the, that courses helpful in career building of students mm-hmm. okay basic okay. courses so okay. what's the name of the student here, that that courses is required mm-hmm. actually uh, these uh, questions are uh, passed from karadi sir because uh, i'm not seeing my chat uh, chat room on youtube hmm. so That's all right. Look, that that's fine. And this Hello. is fine. That that's Hello? that's okay. Yep, go yes. for it. Hello. Yes, yes, sir. Agar. Yes, yes, Agar Sudar. Yes, sir. Hello, sir. 
Uh, actually, uh, my my question is, uh, uh, what is the role of uh, project planning, estimation, and assessment in industry? Okay. Okay. So the third question. Any other questions? Project planning, estimation, estimation and, assessment. and assessment. Estimation. And Sorry, assessment. You go... and, assessment. and assessment. Okay. Yes. Okay. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Any other questions? Can I read next questions? Yeah, go yes, for it. Yes. Two questions. Uh, some uh, student from ENTC background is asking for what is the instrumentation? Uh, what is the instrumentation opportunities for ENTC students or uh, telecommunications? <laughs> students. Uh, <laughs> that's good. Okay. Uh, yeah. What's the next question? And uh, last question is, uh, uh, after we uh, pass out, passed out mm -hmm. uh, within two years after passing out, so mm -hmm. what is the preparation to uh, get the job abroad? And what is the preparation <laughs> is required from the SE or... Okay. All right. So, and this is... Um... After B and also from second year, is that what he's saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So okay. Preparation time. Okay. Preparation so, so time. Are there any other about questions? Time. Time. Okay. Was there Hello, any other sir. Questions? Uh, this is yes. Mm -hmm. Hello. Yep. Go for it. Yes, sir. So, uh, sir, please share your uh, experience in oil field. Yes, um, experience oil, in, the, oil field. In, yes. in the oil field, right? Okay, I'll, I'll tell you about that. It was a very yes, short experience. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Experience in oil field. I'm just writing it down so I don't forget anybody's question, right? And Sagar, this was from you, yeah? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and yeah. I actually, I, I personally have a question as well. Oh, and ah. I mean, <laughs> ye, ye question is not for me, but it's actually for children. So, sure. I, because, uh, you know, you actually, you, you have shared the right thing, because same thing is applicable to me too. Mm. You know, so I also wanted to actually work in instrumentation field and probably in the oil rigs, but I never was, like, you know, it was never possible for me to actually get mm. into it. But... Mm. You know, when I was in grade 10, I have always, I have always mentioned that, you know, I want to be a doctor. Maybe mm -hmm. I wanted to have a, you know, I wanted to be a researcher and I wanted to get my PhD. So that's mm -hmm. what I was able to do. And I've always, you know, tried to make sure that whatever I did in instrumentation engineer, I have been applying it. Yep. It is not in the oil and petroleum field, though. It is probably in some other fields, but same thing. But, you know, what you have mentioned, I'm actually also doing the same thing. Yep. So uh, I definitely agree with you. And it was good that you mentioned, like, you know, about Mandeep Singh Khangura and Jasdeep Singh Khangura. <laughs> so I'm, I'm already in touch with I'm already in touch with them. Like, you know, Mandeep yep. is right now in Miraj, you know, okay. in the pandemic situation. He is in Miraj and I'm planning to actually have one of his sessions as well. Like the That's session good. that we are doing today. So Let me know. my question now. Yeah. So coming back to my question, if you can make a note. So hmm. if, if anyone visits your LinkedIn profile. So I've, I've been actually seeing a lot of certifications, like, you know, so you're actually, you have did a lot of certifications, like, you know, certifications yep. are something related to a lot of IT related, uh, you know, professions. Yes. So, so what are the, like, you know, what are the, like, you know, reasons of those certifications and should our students, like, you know, those who have a plan B, like, you know, those mm -hmm. who are not ending up in instrumentation engineering and probably they have a plan B. So what mm -hmm. are those certifications probably they should be looking forward so they, so that they can actually get into the IT industry. So probably okay. if you can mention something in depth about that, that would be very helpful. So maybe I okay. can, again, uh, I can actually uh, uh, pass the platform to you. So it's all yours now. Okay, what I'll do, um, let me start with, uh, and look, please forgive me, agar main order mein nahi jata hu, I, will, I will say the question, I will repeat the question and then I'll give an answer, but I would want to start out with um, some questions before I go on to the other questions. I hope that is okay with you. I, yes, that should be okay. Not, not necessarily in the order you gave me, but in a, in a, I'll answer all the seven questions. Um, okay. but I will kind of pick and choose, but I'll answer all. Okay. Yeah, so, 
Thanks. Um, so the first question, experience in oil field. This was by uh, this was a question from Sagar. Um, Sagar, let's. I'll, I'll be very honest with you. Um, yes. Looking at the oil field thing, oil field is very rosy. You know, we have a lot of fun. 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 It's a very rosy picture. और क्योंकि वो ऑयल फील्ड में है तो पैसे भी बहुत कमा रहा होगा और अगर ऑयल फील्ड में है तो वो गल्फ में है तो गल्फ के पैसे और यू नो इट मल्टीप्लाइज इन रुपीस लेकिन आपको ये ध्यान रखना पड़ेगा ये ध्यान रखना पड़ेगा कि आप जब ऑयल रिग नंबर वन ऑयल रिग के लिए फ्रेशर लेना बहुत मुश्किल है आई बी वेरी ऑनेस्ट विद यू ठीक है ऑयल रिग के लिए फ्रेशर इज इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट अनलेस एन अंटिल यू एक्चुअली um you actually know of somebody who's working in there agar aap kisi ko jante ho wahan pe wo aapko wahan pe refer kar sakta hai lekin aap instrumentation engineer ho ke aap jo kaam wahan karoge will not necessarily be an engineer's job aapko base level se shuru karna padega yes, aur okay. that basically means ki aapko wo cheni hathodi leke you'll have to you know uh, link all the pipes together you will have to uh, link the drilling machines together so agar aapko wahan pe aandhi aa rahi hai to aap ek tarike se aapke belt mein kamar mein belt baandh ke aapko wahan khade ho ke you will be tightening the bolts so that the whole um, you know the pipe kind of keeps going down into the oil field theek okay, hai so you will start oh, okay. at a very basic job okay. by default that is how everybody okay. starts theek hai har kisi ko wahan se thank you wahan se shuru karna padta hai and I'll, i'll give you a reason for this sagar and i hope i'm not disturbing but there is a reason yes. for this aap tab yes. tak upar nahi mm. pahunchte ho jab tak aap ye nahi jante ho ki basic kaise hota hai right so okay. the basics in an oil field or the basics of an oil rig operation is what the people at the ground level do tightening the bolts making sure that the wrenches come in together making sure the pipes are aligned making sure that uh, you know every, the deck is clean making sh- making sure that all the operation health and safety things are all proper right wahan se log shuru karte hain agar aap wo nahi jante ho to aap agar seedha upar chale jate ho aap aise decision le sakte ho that the chances ki aap aise decision lo jo ki niche jitne bande hain aapke they are दे हैव अ लाइफ रिस्क क्योंकि आप ये समझो आप फ्रॉम द शोर जमीन से आप डेढ़ सौ दो सौ किलोमीटर समुद्र के अंदर हो यू ओनली हैव अबाउट हंड्रेड पीपल मैक्स हंड्रेड हंड्रेड फिफ्टी डिपेंडिंग ऑन दल रिग साइज ठीक है अगर आप उनकी जिंदगी खतरे में डाल रहे हो बिकॉज यू डोंट नो समिंग एट द बेस लेयर दे डोंट वॉन्ट टू रिस्क दैट और आप किसी भी पेट्रोलियम कंपनी में आप काम करोगे दे विल इंश्योर कि आपकी इवन इफ यू आर रिक्रूटेड हायर आप दे विल इंश्योर दैट योर ट्रेनिंग इज डन राइट फ्रॉम द लोअर लेवल ओके राइट बट बट इट इज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एक्सपीरियंस व्हाई बिकॉज़ जो आपके वहां पे दोस्त बनते हैं जो आपके लाइफ स्किल्स आप जो वहां सीखते हो दैट कंटिन्यूज हम्म that continues ki aap okay, adverse correct, condition mein kaise kaise wo karoge so that that's a that's a very uh, good life skill learning experience <laughs> okay okay <laughs> thank you sir thank you not thank you very problem. much not a problem right um <laughs> now let me come back to the other question after b passing out within 2 years what is the preparation to get jobs abroad and what should somebody do should they start from the second year right uh, that was one of the questions i think magdum sir i think that was the one yes 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 okay cool now first and foremost agar aapko bahar jana hai straight out of be my suggestion is to go out and enroll in masters theek hai 
Um, the reason why I say this is because if you look at the entire population of India, there are tons and tons of engineers coming out every day. And tons and tons of them are applying for jobs outside. And it is just like the oil rig situation. They try and avoid recruiting freshers unless they know you. With going outside India, the chances are even more difficult because of visa restrictions. You need to have a certain skill set. If you have a company you have, it has to show that there is no skill set available in that country. Yeah, us state me, wo skill set available nahi hai. Isi liye, you have some extraordinary skill, jiske basis pe wo aapko bula rahe hai. Because it will be an invitation. That is how the thing, that is how the concept works. My suggestion to anybody who's looking at going outside is please get yourselves enrolled in masters. Aap agar ho sake, then please get yourself enrolled in masters, you know, let's say in the US or the UK, in Australia, wherever you want to go, make sure that you apply for your masters and you study over there. Because that gives an added weightage. Company hire will have an added weightage and you understand how they work and they are then willing to go ahead and you know, kind of recruit you for that job. If you apply karte rahoge, as in India, mein ke apply karte rahoge, almost next to no chance that you'll get a job, especially as a fresher. If you have a massive qualification, le, lete ho, then yes, probably. But again, that qualification has to be substantiated by, you know, your master's or your PhD, something of that sort. To my suggestion, ki aap masters may enroll kare, uh, because every country will recruit first their own people, and then they'll if they don't find anything within their country, then they'll start you know looking at people outside. Right. So my time pe jitne seniors the, they started preparing for masters. Jo bhi abhi bahar hai, um, they started preparing for masters in their third year. So by the third year, they had already enrolled for um, the GRE and the TOEFL and all that stuff. Because that is because they were all wanting to go to the US. So they wanted to do the GRE and the TOEFL. So they started, you know, all those, uh, I won't say coaching, but online uh, learning. Opening her say brilliant and all brilliant, I think was a tutorial, brilliant tutorials. So they uh, enrolled in that and they started, uh, but that was in third year. Okay. Did I answer that? Or is there more explanation needed on that? Yes, I think so. It's good. Okay. Cool. Um, now, may, so which then brings me to the next question. I think this was again from the YouTube chat. What basic courses are needed in career building? Now, this is a very open-ended statement. <laughs> I'll tell you why this is open-ended. Is basically, आपको किस में career build करना है? आपको instrumentation में ही रह के career build करना है? या आपको कहीं और जाके career build करना है? आपको किस में career build करना है? जिसमें भी आप career build करेंगे, there is a set of uh, basic things that you need to do. Right. Just for an example, agar aap aaj ke date pe kehte ho ki mera ko instrumentation se nikal ke um, IT security karna hai. Right. Agar aap IT security karoge, to there are certain IT security courses like CISSP, C, you know, certified. Um, ek minute. Google is God. Main Google ko zara pooch leta hoon. CISSP ka full form kya hai? Mera ko khud yaad nahi hai. Um, certified Information Systems Security Professional, right? So, you can do that. Then that will give you to the next level and take you further. If you want to do network security, if you want to do network related, kar sakte ho, want, or karna ho, then you have CCNA, you know, Certified uh, Network Administrator. Cisco Certified Network Administrator. You can do that. And then you can do advanced courses. 
अगर आप इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन में करना चाहते हो देन इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन में देर आर सर्टन कोर्सेज बाई एक मिनट आई थिंक इट वॉज हनीवेल सर्टिफिकेशन कोर्सेज Uh, I think um, Honeywell had some courses. Just uh, like that, yes. Uh, Professional Certificate of Competency in Safety Instrumentation Systems for Process Industries. वो एक है. फिर आपका Professional Certificate of Competency for PLCs and SCADA Systems. फिर आपके है Certificate of Competency in Instrumentation Automation and Process Controls. and these are all short courses teen saal ke course so what they effective sorry teen mahine ka course um what they will do is basically level measurement temperature measurement flow measurement overview of the scada systems plc systems esra you know has of studies they'll teach you all of that right so that is what you can do in instrumentation to add to your qualifications agar aap masters ki taraf nahi ja rahe ho agar aapko you know short courses ye certificate courses karke jana hai i think that that is one way so to be honest it's a very this question is very broad um there are heaps of things that you want to do you know that you can do but it all depends on where you want to do your career building right um do i need to put that further thanks sir enough Okay. Maybe we can go to the next question. All right. Um, next one. So, what is the what is the what is the role of instrumentation for electronics and telecommunication students? Was that the question, or how can electronics and telecommunication students contribute in instrumentation? Yeah, I think it was like that. Like, how? What are the opportunities for ENDC students in instrumentation? so that was that was the point it is an interlinked field let's put it that way electronics and communication and instrumentation you will realize and nandu i think you can also certify on this till the third year we have very common subjects yes you know we are studying dsp electronics and communication is studying dsp was i still remember rd patel man oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. but anyways I'll, that is another story <laughs> um um but ha huh, till the third year most of your courses are similar there is no difference to it um so the chances of anybody getting into instrumentation from electronics and communication is pretty much the same as an instrumentation engineer getting into electronics and communication it's it's interchangeable if you want an added advantage then you can probably do those uh, certificate courses right which will give you an added advantage over an actual because those certificate courses will actually um teach you what e you miss out in the final year so otherwise it's 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 a very interlinked uh, set of engineering excuse me yes uh, fair enough i think was there anyone who was mentioning something um anybody's got any questions no so atum sir do you have a question from abhinav hmm yeah uh, there is a question from abhinav subedar from sy instrumentation mm -hmm. so that he want to uh, do job in iot okay internet so what things. is the preparation yeah. needed for that <laughs> internet of things is a very interesting um is a very interesting area right um now if that is the case then i understand uh, abhinav is already deciding to move into it because um iot is a very it based uh, um how how would i put it is is a very it related field right so uh, the iot thing that is there comes later on in the picture and uh, what 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 abina would effectively need to do you can do you know you can do short courses and all that stuff that is that is always um that is always an option however uh, what i would suggest to do from an internet of uh, things first and foremost um my 
thing is, do people know what IoT actually is? If, if they don't, I'm just giving a brief synopsis. This is basically, um, the Internet of Things is basically linking computing devices, mechanical and digital machines, everything with, uh, um, you know, over a network so that you can transfer data without any human interface, right? So um, for an example, if you, it is also kind of related in certain stages, we say to um, artificial intelligence. Um, what we also have is, um, you know, as, as an example, you would have seen some, um, you would have seen some examples of, uh, let's say there's a fridge, right? Um, and the fridge notes or keeps a note of what you have in it. The moment you take a bottle of milk or a packet of milk out of it, it will automatically send a message to the Kirana store saying, please deliver 500 uh, milliliters Amul full fat milk to address so-and-so. So this is that whole interconnected system of Internet of Things. That is just an example, right? It, it's a very uh, it's a very artificial intelligence based thing. Um, to get into the IoT thing uh, for Abhinav, I would suggest he has first starts off with IT in that data science area, or or you know the data mining sort of an area, because starting from the data analysis or the data re, uh, wing, he can go on to big data, from big data, he can get onto AI and from AI, he can get into IoT. So that is the general structure of things that works. I hope that's okay for him. Yes, thank you. So Raktim, uh, actually, if your WhatsApp is uh, open, maybe mm. there are like two questions with uh, like, you know, which are in the chat box again, and I just took an image and I just said to you, probably if you can go through those questions and maybe if you want to answer those and maybe then you can actually answer my question. Rukja, then let me go and get my mobile. Hang on for a minute, please. Yep. Oh, oh, oh no, 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 no. Okay, I'll read the map. वो रुक जा मेरे घर में ही है नहीं और नहीं रखा हुआ रुक जा अच्छा <laughs> रुक जा गिव मी गिव मी 30 सेकंड्स गिव मी गिव मी 30 सेकंड्स ओके श्योर Okay, sorry about that. Now I have your questions. So, um, so I've got the instrumentation agriculture sector. Okay, that's fine. Um, automation is the future of industrial technology in upcoming decade. It's the best course to carry out from this point of view. Look, there are multiple, this is from Subham Kulkarni. Um, there is no such particular course that you can effectively say industrial technology uh, that you can have for automation in industrial technology. Industrial technology, again, is a very vast area. You, people want something that is really specific, right? Um, agar aap industrial technology kare ho, um, industrial technology again gets divided into multiple areas. Um, industrial technology, can number one become um, what sort of an industry? Because industrial technology is not only about automation of, um, how would I put it, or automation of um, PLC SCADA systems. If, if you look at uh, industrial, um, uh, I would say this is industrial automation, not effectively industrial technology and automation. But if you look at, uh, at automation, you can have an automation of a conveyor belt you can have an automation of a car industry. You can have an automation of a uh, uh, of a sugar industry. You can have automation of a milk industry. And every industry has a different requirement. If you go to medical industry, mein jate ho, there is a requirement for uh, SOX, Sarbans and Oxley. Um, there is a requirement for HIPAA, H-I-P-P-A. That has one sort of, uh, that has that is a set of certifications that you need. 
अगर आप किसी और इंडस्ट्री में जाते हो देर इज अगेन समथिंग स्पेसिफिक टू दैट सो टू बी ऑनेस्ट विथ यू फॉर ऑटोमेशन इन इंडस्ट्रियल टेक्नोलॉजी यू हैव टू बेट डाउन ऑन वॉट इंडस्ट्री इज इट दैट यू वॉन्ट टू गेट इन टू एवरी इंडस्ट्री हैज स्पेसिफिक सेट ऑफ रिक्वायरमेंट्स और जितना दिन जा रहा है देर बींग वेरी स्पेसिफिक ऑन वॉट दे वॉन्ट सो यू विल हैव टू बी वेरी पर्टिकुलर ऑन वॉट एग्जैक्टली इट इज दैट यू ऑन दैट on what particular industry that you are after i hope that works out i like dipali's answer comparison to other branches it's less competition and instrumentation that's why i chose the branch and its op opportunity in the defense industry yes that's a very good thing and i appreciate the uh, sentiment it is very uh, useful in the defense industry um especially with uh, robotics um and in answering the other question about iot iot will also play a part over there um especially if you look at it today with our bomb disposal units everything is about ai and robotics so that that's a very good uh, and i uh, absolutely agree on the sentiment over there uh, dipali uh for vaishnavi she says she chose instrumentation as it's a multidisciplinary branch and it would open many options after graduating yep it is a multidisciplinary branch um you can go ahead you can become a robotics uh, you know you can specialize in robotics you can go into it you can uh, specialize in uh, biomedical um in fact i think our project uh, nandu remind me it was something related to biomedics itself about um, you know how we had the nano cell injected into the body that was a final year project so you can go into bi biomedical too it is a very multi multidisciplinary branch i agree um which courses are important for instrumentation engineers tushar um which courses bro you are becoming an instrumentation engineer that's a course in itself <laughs> you know um <laughs> yeah that's true <laughs> um what like i said what is it what is it that you want to do you know you, you're saying um what's know some subjects which are important for this from for, uh, look of this total number of subjects is uh, studying mm. they are more important as far as instruments now important to pass or important to gain knowledge there there is. is the other question <laughs> important as per the point of view okay um from 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 a career perspective i would say uh, control mechanics that is one absolute subject that you have control for mechanics i forget the name uh, nandu or even uh, magdum sir if you can remind me there was a big book um i forget the name there's a massive lewis lewis did did a jagavkar no 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 levski 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 yes Lipstick and Liptak, Liptak, Bela Ji Liptak, Liptak, Bela Ji Liptak, that massive brown book. Yes, and Levski. Yes. yes, so that is something that you need. Uh, that's your handbook for instrumentation engineering. Um, so your control for mechanics, digital signal processing. In case you want to get into any other field, that is one very um, important subject. Uh, DSP. Um, um what are the other subjects that we had please forgive me i don't remember half the subjects we studied <laughs> um, um yeah it's it's fair enough like you know right now you're not in instru and you're actually working in it so it's fair enough if you actually are not remembering something those are the important courses in instru um i probably i would i would say like that that's look my suggestion to you is these are the two things uh, thanks for that nandu would uh, dsp and uh, control flow or control mechanics would be the absolute um no brainers basically that is something that you really need to get on to because even as fresh as the questions that you get asked yeah, probably majorly... uh, probably vikas karade sir is there and uh, maybe he would uh, mention because he's oh, a, he's is. actually and and we already have the courses in our department and they are actually they they definitely like you know the courses that we have are really good and i don't see any courses which are missing uh, from my point of view uh, probably like karate sir would like to answer this question if it is if it is okay for you sir hi absolutely the courses related with the process control 
at the yep. our time the name is process instrumentation yes. that subject so, name yes uh, the content is you. now the similar so that is related to the process control so related to the batch process continuous process dcs introduction of the certain plcs yep okay. yep that's the one and of course the liptek handbook yeah liptek <laughs> <laughs> yes vikas yaar kya din the oh all right so i have another one that came through um what kind of project do you want to do now regarding the current situation look at the moment there is nothing that you can effectively do because to do any of these courses you would um i don't know if they have online sessions going on at the moment um um what kind of project do you want to do regarding the current situation from a project perspective it's very interesting maybe you can you can do something related to biomedical because at the end of the day in instrumentation you would interact with biomedics as as an like uh, you know uh, the lady mentioned it's a multidisciplinary field you might want to explore a project in um, in in biomedics to see how you can uh prevent or how you can help sanitize automatically or maybe how you can help uh slow the transmission of uh body fluids from one place to the other um maybe automated um, i don't know i'm i'm just throwing it out maybe auto automated sanitizing booths based on where you step in you know you you going in somewhere what happens you know um you going into a restaurant maybe how do how does the restaurant ensure that you are hygienic before you go and sit at a particular location which can also be geocoded there there are heaps of opportunities so you could look at biomedics you can bring geocoding into it um you can uh, you know how we have um the the particular app that is there um the setu arogya setu yes arogya setu app correct um maybe you can uh, build something on that uh, related to contact tracing you know how um if you or let's say somebody has covid 19 um if you are in an area nearby how do you find out and how do you find out other affected people and how do you inform the authorities what do the authorities need to there are heaps of options to be honest heaps if you want to do something that is related to the pandemic because uh, doing projects outside at the moment i don't think um, you know the industries or the organizations will allow you to go in unless obviously you are utilizing your social network now shubham sorry anybody had a question no okay Shubham had a very interesting question and I absolutely like this question which is the highest paid position in the field of instrumentation <laughs> uh, nothing pays more than being the ceo of a company or running your own business <laughs> you know if 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 you if you can run your own business successfully profitably there is nothing more satisfying and nothing uh, more um, uh, you know nothing more better than that but that is from a on a lighter note um and obviously you know in the field of instrumentation there is no limit to where you go why i say that is to a certain extent you will be in the operations part of it after operations you will move into management when you move into management you can go all the way up to the ceo so whatever the ceo of that company gets paid becomes a highest salary um so there is there is effectively no highest paid positions in instrumentation because in operations you can only go up to let's say a plant manager or um you know a, a regional plant manager if there are factories in multiple areas an operations manager in let's say maruti or an operations manager in kia motors or hyundai those are good salaries but from there you will have to go into management if you look at jagdish khattar who was the head of maruti 
Jagdish Khattar started off uh, uh, somewhere in the operations. He was a foreman when he started, but then he moved into management, and then he became the CEO and the you know the head of Maruti Suzuki. So there's there's effectively no no limit on what you can do. Okay. Now coming back to a few other questions that I still have left. Um, what is the role of instrumentation in agriculture? Um, the role of instrumentation in agriculture is pretty diverse, if I may say so. Um, why I say that is because um, um, in agriculture, um, given today's scenario, and I'm and I'm making this specific uh, to India. Um, we are still a very manual labor driven country, right? So we will still utilize manual labor. However, um, with bigger, uh, with the farms getting bigger and more uh, and the consumption being, uh, and the consumption coming up, um, the opportunities that are coming up are more in lines of um, irrigation. Right. Um, number one, it is more in lines of irrigation. Number two, they are coming up in uh, in the lines of harvesting. So you would have, um, uh, and also, um, you know, the hydroponic systems that you have in agriculture. So these are the three main areas where you effectively will have uh, instrumentation in agriculture. So you, if you can automate the the harvesting process. If you can automate the irrigation process based on climate control, uh, based on the climate, and if you can also automate uh, the uh, the hydroponic systems where you do not effectively use the soil only for, you do not effectively use soil, you use water. Now, to digress, one of the one of the known in my circle, there is a known person, and he's in this thing today, who is closely associated, and I might be wrong, is uh, Nandu. He, I believe, as my understanding goes, has done lots of um, research into instrumentation and agriculture while in Canada. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yes, sir, it's correct, and the field <laughs> is called precision agriculture. So yeah, any any so it's called the precision agriculture and technologies, and that's the field where there are definitely uh, like you know hip and tons of need of instrumentation engineers because precision agriculture technologies is a group of technologies where as you said like you know how can we control the irrigation how we can control the harvesting how we can control the environment of the soil how we can control the post production how we can actually yesterday there was a session like you know. The, the speaker was uh, Prashant Gusti. He mentioned, like you know, how we can trace, like you know, from the from the starting of the growing of the product till the end, like you know, to the till the end consumer, like you know, from the safety perspective, like you know, mm -hmm. how many how much pesticides is went through, like you know, probably if it had any disease, if there were any pests involved, like you know, what was the duration of the crop, and like you know, how it was harvested, where it was actually transported, like you know, a lot of things with uh, geocoding, like you know, geographical location related aspects. So all that actually is uh, falling under an umbrella called as precision agriculture and precision agriculture technologies. And that's that's probably like you know very interesting field, and I I definitely I have a PhD in that area, and I worked at McGill on in that area. So your guess was correct, though we haven't been in touch for quite long. Uh, <laughs> I still and, keep news, man. I still keep news. Yeah, well, actually, like you know, probably many students in our department probably they're not uh, they are aware about me, but they're not, probably not aware about myself. You know, mm -hmm. like, you know, in my field and my expertise. Uh, so thanks for bringing that in. And actually, uh, again, probably I'll, I'll, I'll let you again continue with your talk. That's all right. So this is for Mahesh from third year who basically asked about the role of instrumentation in agriculture. Mahesh, this is for you. Please contact uh, Nandakishor Dawle. He is a doctorate in this field. So if you if you have any advice on, you know, need any advice, he's the best person to talk related to agriculture, right? Now, um, 
the last question came, I think, from uh, from you, Nandu. If anybody visits my LinkedIn profile, they see certifications, and uh, why should they be certified, and what certification should they do? Um, yes, if you go onto my LinkedIn profile, you will see heaps and heaps of certifications, and and they're all kind of related to my service management skill set in IT. Um, what this allows me to do. And the reason why I keep getting certified is quite a lot of these certifications have expiry limits on them, right? So, um, you know, if you do a certification today on the 3rd of June, 2020, some, some of them will end, um, you know, a year from now. Some of them will end three years from now. So what... There, there are two reasons for this. Number one, they want, um, you know, the, the certifying authorities want your money so that they can keep getting your money every time you want to get certified. Um, number two, what they also want is for you to upgrade your knowledge. So because within the field of IT, nothing is ever stagnant for, uh, stagnant for more than two years. So if you're doing something in two years, that technology will upgrade itself, right? We knew there was Windows 95, Windows 98 came, then it went to Windows XP, then you know heaps of changes. Now we have Windows 10. You look at your Android versions, they keep upgrading. You look at your iPhone versions, they keep upgrading. Your iOS keeps upgrading, all that stuff. Hence, they want to make sure that you, know, you keep certifying yourselves so that you're aware and you're knowledgeable of the latest trends that are there in the industry. So that is why you keep certifying. Um, the other thing on what certificates you should, or what certificate courses you should get, it is again, like I said, somewhere at the start of the, the questionnaire session is based on what you want to do in the future. You know, if you want to go ahead and become an IT person and you want to do network, uh, network related stuff, you have CCNA and then you can go down that. If you want to do information security, you have CCIP, go down that. You want to do certification courses in instrumentation, you have a set of certification courses there. Um, you want to get yourself certified in, uh, you know, in, in, in uh, I don't know, uh, digital signal processing, you could do that. So it is all dependent on what you want to do, right? So it, it, it's, it's very much up to you and up to your capability and your capacity on what you turn out to be. Okay. Um, okay. So it's already like almost 4.30. Mm -hmm. So yep. do you think actually we should be done or do you want to continue? Because probably there are not many questions now coming from the students. There, That's are, right. there are like probably a lot of faculties who are still in the Zoom setting here. And mm -hmm. probably like, can we ask if any faculty wants to have any question? Or, more than uh, up for it. Yeah, go for or, it. If, you know, if any faculty has any question, I'm more than happy to, you know. Yes, Vikas, sir. My, my, my question is that to prepare the students so related with the IT sector, mm -hmm. so which are the additional efforts so we are going to be do on our instrumentation students. So that's why they are going to be eligible or they are having the not much more difficulties So when mm -hmm. they are going to be entering in the IT sector. Sir, first of all, and you can take it to the other side. First of all, अगर आप इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन बच्चे पढ़ रहे हैं अगर बच्चे इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन पढ़ रहे हैं मेरी आपसे ये अनुरोध है कि उनको ये ना दिखाया जाए कि आईटी इज अ वे आउट ऑफ इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन राइट दैट इज समथिंग दैट आई रियली रिक्वेस्ट बिकॉज़ यस आईटी इज इजी इनटू गेट इज वेरी इजी टू गेट इनटू यू नो आपने यहां वहां कुछ कोर्सेज कर लिए एंड you can go ahead and get into IT. No problem at all. But then, this instrumentation wali jo capability is then open. And if it's open one time, then there is no point in why did the parents spend you know, the money? Why did the government spend the money? Why are the teachers invested? You 
you know aap as an hod or anybody as an hod and all that why are they investing their time and effort into teaching these students agar it hi karna hai hai na but that that being said agar maan lijiye ki there are students who say ki you know main pressure mein aake kar raha hu so whatever mere ko it mein hi karna hai karna hai there are two ways that you can go number one aap software line ja sakte ho number two aap infrastructure line ja sakte ho software line will start from the coding side jahan pe aap baith ke sirf code likhoge it is like our c c++ programming jo hum karte the third year mein mm-hmm. even second year mein jiske chalte wo you know and and even the microprocessor coding right yeah. jo hum 8085 8086 ki coding karte the yeah. right so those coding will put you on to the software line wahan pe aapko aapka logic chahiye yeah you know right. your logic to build uh, something based on yeah. lines of code the other option is yeah, agar aap yeah okay okay yeah i'm here to actually my connection is very low my connection is very low in fact uh, and i'm uh, doing it pro but anyways but it's going well thank you for being there sir oh ruk ja khatam nahi hua yeah 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 sure sure <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and he's a good resource because he knows a lot of alumni from our institute. Oh, hello. Who is he talking about? Anyways, anyways. Okay. Um, so, con- con- continuing back to where I was, uh, because for uh, the infrastructure area, you could yes, look yes, at. Yes, infrastructure yeah, is again sure, broken sure, up sure. into multiple places right infrastructure is broken broken up into servers yeah, it is broken up into storage yes. it is broken up into network it is broken up into um, exchange which is our email outlook system so there are multiple areas that it is broken up into yeah. which area does the person want to go into is where that person will start getting themselves certified in because those certifications will then help him move from instru- or him or her from instrumentation into that particular area of it okay okay there is a, another question mm-hmm. uh, actually one of the students he is going to be shared one of the question mm-hmm. so he want to do the career in oil and gas sector mm-hmm. uh, but he having uh, one of the question in that how to apply or uh, from what is the his starting point so he want to do the career in that area Okay the first and foremost is finding out what are the oil and gas companies that are there across the globe even in india so in india you have ongc they are the they are the authorities for anything that is there on the oil and gas sector in india right the first option is uh, going ahead on the ongc website and applying straight up from there now ongc earlier on had something with to do with freshers so you could apply straight away as freshers that was one option the second option is ongc also had exams it it was like you know those civil service exams that we had so you could also sit for those exams and then go into ongc and then from there select a path and go on to the oil fields like i said in my discussions earlier on getting on to um, um, an an oil rig or an oil field of a foreign company is very difficult my suggestion is to start with ongc start with the companies like reliance even reliance have their oil rigs up in jamnagar um i can speak to nandu and find out because uh, i know of one or two of our alumni who are there in reliance at the moment um so i can find out and send to nandu on what are the details that somebody can get onto the oil rigs for reliance okay uh, one more question mm-hmm. uh one of the students question is that so in the defense area so which are the majority areas so where the instrumentation engineer so mm-hmm. they are going to be do the better work oh instrumentation in defense can do lots of work in lots of places that's a um that's a that's a very um, broad again because it is a multi uh, or a very diverse field instrumentation can be done across in uh, multiple areas for an example um you in defense you can use it on portable instruments or fixed instruments 
you can use it in uh, defense has uh, gas detection right so you can use it on gas detection um you can use it on um um tunneling you can use it on shipping and marine uh, stuff you can use it on um over the other places you can use it in um, you know pretty much missiles you can use it in air on on the on the uh, warships you can use anywhere that you want to um, use automation in anywhere you can use it in space you can use it in space um, um, space and defense there are there are heaps of places trust me where you can use um um instrumentation uh, some more would be like missile launching and guidance systems you have homing systems where you can use sound radio radar heat light um you can use uh, 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 weapons control systems um you can use uh, thermal control systems for satellites the heaps of potentials for um, instrumentation and defense yeah that's correct yeah. Yeah. i have actually been uh, worked with some of them uh, mm -hmm. i i was working uh, with some projects on nasa plus mm -hmm. in agriculture like as i mentioned in precision agriculture whatever is tested in like you know in defense and now it is kind of you know civilized so that comes in the area of agriculture and then we actually do the same things what they do in the defense yep so yep. so you you mentioned exactly the right right the right stuff and uh, thanks i think for bringing that as well and uh, thanks deepali for actually asking a very good question i think this question came from deepali a student uh, from third year i think it was deepali or even vaishnavi vaishnavi gora well, was the one yeah, which vaishnavi was there too yeah yeah cool and that's what it is all about so if we don't have any other questions sir yes, sir. Uh, that is, that is, that is, that is, yes more sir. sir yes more sir so more sir is on more sir is on you want to ask your question hello sir yep go for it more sir ha uh, sir uh, uh, as you know that our college or our instrumentation department gives a 100% placement Mm -hmm. but uh, uh, student after be they do not want uh, the job because of because uh, the placement companies gives 2 to 2.5 lakh per annum and they yes. want the salaries after be then what is your suggestion to the uh, students sir boon boon se sagar bharta hai yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll, i'll be honest with you when i started off i used to get a salary of 1.2 Uh, our okay. student reject that job two to two point five lakh per annum. They so want as, four, as, five, six, seven lakh jobs. As a fresher, agar jan pechan hai to thik hai. Five, six, five, six, seven lakh mil jayega, not a problem. Lekin agar uh, agar instrumentation mein hi usko dhai three lakh ki salary mil rahi hai, I think that that should be a good enough start for them to start in as a fresher. Because um, let's let's think about it this way. They're still at home. um they have zero expenses other than their own mobile phone or their uh, motorcycle um two and a half three should be a start good starting point for them to understand the basics and then obviously with their knowledge and they keep changing you know and once they move across to a better position the salary keeps on increasing uh, but if somebody says that i i want to start off straight away on a 6 7 lakh package because i am an engineer in today's world it is very unrealistic exactly sir thank so, you thank you no that's all right sir thank you sir <laughs> thank you <laughs> we we look uh, we all need to be very practical minded even as students i mean uh, you can say whatever but the like i said right at the start the world out there is very different you can have an expectation to start at 6 and 7 but if you find that you are only getting 2 and a half 3 from all companies probably that is where you should start because they they are employing you sort of a thing so today's market scenario is 
अगर आप नौकरी नहीं लेते हो कोई और ले लेगा एंड यू लूज आउट ऑन द चांस ऑफ गेटिंग एन एक्सपीरियंस अगर आप जाते हो आपके पीछे पांच का लाइन है पांच छह जनों का लाइन है सो यू माइट एज वेल गेट इट इफ यू चेंज काम yeah if if you change companies and you go somewhere else you can obviously grow but you have to start somewhere to go there yeah that's very 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 true so if anyone has has any questions it's already like you know more than 430 and my my internet connection is actually very slow slowing down and probably like you know it could actually suddenly like you know stop so before that actually happens uh, like an accident happens but <laughs> like we can avoid it and uh, probably that's why it is my request we maybe if we can stop our session uh maybe we can actually have the concluding remarks i mean like i might ask our hr sir if it, if he is fine and then maybe uh, maybe he can actually again decide what he wants to do next overall uh, overall section is uh, session is nice so what are the information given by the mr raktin so it is much more useful for students and for us also for guiding the students also i request uh, patil madam to give the vote of thanks for this webinar okay sir thank thanks, you thanks vikas thank you very much okay thank you sir it gives me great honor and privilege to propose vote of thanks on this uh, event uh, thank you so much sir i am grateful to uh, our guest raktim sir uh, who despite his busy schedule had to time a grace this occasion thank you sir for uh, thank you sir for sharing your views experiences all this uh, knowledgeable talk uh, once again uh, i thank you on behalf of pvpit family and also from instrumentation department uh, above all i thank you all participants uh, as your participation has made this uh, session successful event uh, i believe that this lecture uh, has certainly provided you uh, as uh, insight into uh, into the personality development mm. last but not the least i thank you our principal sir dr dv gavde sir and honorable trusty amit dada for providing support for this uh, series uh, thank you thank you sir thank you priyanka appreciate yeah, it and before before the ending of the session i would like to mention that uh, our deans uh, so in our institute we have two deans one is dean r and d and one is dean academics so both of them have actually attended the session because i see their uh, i see their uh, comments in the chat box so they have attended the session and uh, they are, they have also been appreciated the that they like the session very good discussion and uh, stuff so something like those comments are there so and, and uh, just now my our principal sir also called me and then this, he suddenly had a you know power outage as i mentioned like anything happens right now because of the weather conditions so that's why he had to leave the session like you know accidentally otherwise he wanted to continue uh, speaking uh, and listening to raktim but unfortunately he is not there and he he would like to catch up with you again so that's what that's what he mentioned to me all over the call so no problem so that's that's all uh, from my end and i i would also like to say again thank you raktin so much it was Good. pleasure it was nice to actually interact with you after so many years uh it's been some time man and you look natural <laughs> oh yeah thank you thank you yeah. <laughs> thank so, you <laughs> so be uh, be safe stay safe like you know you too. With, uh, with the situation and i i think it's it's it goes for everyone like you know with this pandemic situation everyone should take care of themselves and try to be safe yep absolutely everybody take care stay safe and uh, yeah nandu uh, whenever you feel uh, let me know and we'll have a discussion yeah 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 i'll, I'll give I'll, i'll again chat with you in later all right thank you okay. thank you all yeah. thank Jeez. you all thank you